It's finally here. It's the big one. It's Ilkeston Town against Walsall Wood. It's first against second in the Midlands Premier. I'm Connor Jones. You're joining me live from the clock tower today. You're also joining a mammoth crowd here at the new Manor Ground. And they're all here to see which team is going to take that huge step towards promotion. Just three games to go, including this one. Ilkeston take on Warsaw with today. Three points clear at the top of the table. Slightly better goal difference as well. A win here. They'd be six clear with six points left to play for. They would have one hand, a couple of fingers on the trophy. They would almost certainly be going up. Looking to give the side with the best home record in the division the perfect start. They are taking on the team with the best away record in the league, though. Billy Bennett whips it in, headed away by a yellow shirt, falls to Smith. All ricochets, but it's full to Tom Marshall, who takes a bit of a cross shot, and it was neither one nor the other, and it's gone out for a also with goal kick. White's going to make an overlap on the right, trying to pull someone out of the wall, but I don't think they're going to fall for it. Bennett unleashes it. Oh, wasn't far away. Went for the near post, got it over the wall. It'll mean a lot to Alex Marshall, of course, to be promoted. Been at the club since he was nine. Good chance here for Walsall Wood. They've got the header at the back post and the visitors have the lead. It's Carl Rowley, the fullback, who celebrates under the clock tower stand. And Walsall Wood take the lead within 10 minutes here at the new manor ground. If it stays 1-0, Ilkeston will stay top, but they'll be level on points of Warsaw Wood. This is a beautiful run here by the number three from Warsaw Wood going into the area. And it's a shot, oh, just across the face of goal, and that was a good chance. It was Kaylin Mitchell with the shot. It's Joey Butler, and he stands over it. Ilkeston just have the one-man wall in Tom Marshall. Butlin whips it into the middle. Oh, it's put in the back of the net. And it's Jack Barnes who wheels away celebrating. And Walsall Wood have a two-goal lead at the new manor ground. And the small pockets of Wood fans across the ground make themselves known. Their side are doing the business here. We've had 22 minutes gone. And it's Walsall Wood 2. Ilkeston nil. Yellow shorts, yellow socks. Ilkeston, of course, all in red. They're taking it quickly, Warsaw Wood. This is Atherton into the area. Goes one way, goes the other. Oh, it's a chance for the finish for Roberts. And he does finish it. Oh. It looked to me that Liam Mitchell should have done better, really, from the initial shot. It was played in by Atherton. Fife, better sustained pressure this from Ilkeston. The game's all in... The Walsall Wood half now. He's still going Fife on the edge of the area. Shoots in towards Perry's. Good challenge by Rowley and it's cleared by Walsall. The Robins have definitely had the upper hand in this fixture. Last season they won 3-2 here. They won the return fixture 4-1. Although I think Walsall Wood were already champions by then. If it wasn't for Hina's voluntary relegation this wouldn't have been a fixture this season. But it is, and Ilkeston looking to get back into it of Reeves, who's brought down in the area, and the referee's given a penalty. Well, Carl Perry's come over to say he was last man, and the referee agrees it wasn't an attempt to play the ball, and Carl Rowley, the first goal scorer, has been sent off. Walker stands over it, it's Walker against Ransom. This could be a huge moment to decide the outcome of the title. Walker scored five and five. Can he make it six and six? No, he can't. It's saved. And his rebound saved as well. What a chance for Ilkeston to get back into the game and they've blown it. Oh, it's a good take by Roberts. Just inside the Ilkeston area. The ball's not clear, but now it is eventually by Liam Mitchell out for throw in. He's shown real work rate today. The little number 10. Really been impressed by him. So Walsall would have the ball in the corner. Left-hand side, whipped in to the edge of the area. 
This is the number seven, getting a shot away. It's 4-0, it's Kalen Mitchell. And one Mitchell beats the other. There's nothing Liam could have done about that one. But there was a lot the defence could have done about it. He was in oceans of space. And the ten men of Warsaw Wood are now four goals to the good. They are now top of the league. He's got Mitchell behind him, the goal scorer. It's a good goal too. Tries to play it in, but Carl Perry gets it away. This is Dixon. Back to Perry, plays it over to Reeves, but the ball's a bit slow to get there. Gives a chance for the defenders to get back. Reeves can't quite get it out of his feet, but he's kept hold of it. They need a big moment from Elliot Reeves. This is Carl Dixon inside the area, holds off his man. It might fall to Dixon, but it won't. And Ransom governs it and falls onto the ball to waste a bit more time. Ilsen is still going. They're 4-0 down. Also would have 10 men, Ilkeston and Mr. Penoy. If you're just joining us, sorry to be the bearer of bad news. This is Walker, just on the edge of the area, clips it in towards Dixon, and he's put it wide. He was offside anyway. So it is a record attendance for this season for the Robins. It's their second highest ever, one five eight seven. Absolutely fantastic support in non-league terms. Oh, it might get even worse here. There's a bit of ricochet in football back there. Oh, fantastic challenge by Baker. And Mitchell. It's important to remember it's not all over yet though. There are still two games to go. As odd as it seems, both clubs really have it in their hands. One last throw of the dice here for Ilkeston as the Wasp, the Wasp makes another play to get onto my glasses. This is White. Knocks it over to Carl Dixon on the edge of the area. Whipped in towards Perry, he's being dragged back, goes for an overhead kick. He's gone out for a goal kick. And I think that will be the last action in this one. Well, we're just waiting for the referee to call this one over. But it's been over for a long time. The whistle does go. Huge cheers from the Warsaw Woods fans and dugout and players. They've come to the home of the would-be champions. And they've torn us apart. A result. That still leaves it in both of their hands. But for today, Warsaw would have been the better team. They go top of the league, but it's not all over. Two big wins is all it's going to take for Ilkeston to get up to step four. It's still in their hands, but Warsaw would have won the battle here today. But they might not win the war. Final score of the new man of ground on a really disappointing day for the Robins. Ilkeston Town nil, Warsaw Wood four.